welcome to our Tegan Daily Bread, your spiritual board meeting for Thursday, April 9th, 2020. I am your Madame President of the Artigan, Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. Welcome, loves. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the space. Feel free to stay for all of the psychic tarot, astrology, and Artigan reports, and feel free to skip ahead as you're guided. I hereby officially call this meeting to order. Gavel, gavel, gavel into the minutes recap to last Thursday when Venus was in the later degree of Taurus was there an emotional shift over last weekend at that time take a brief moment to reflect before we jump ahead into what we can expect moving forward president's report all right my loves Honestly, I am ready for Friday night. I am ready for April 10th, Friday night when Mercury moves on. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Move on. I'm ready. I'm ready to put the Piscean confusion and fog and I'm... I've been ready since the end of January when we were getting into it. I'm, I'm just ready for, I'm excited for Friday night. That's when um, Mercury moves into Aries. And this is interesting. I have a note about if anyone's experiencing psychic attacks. Um, to ch oh, that's right. Okay, that's why. I'm putting, okay, so practical magic level one is later today on Thursday. So if you guys want to register and hop on this month's practical magic level one, feel free. It, it, I'll be doing it every month. It's a it's an intensive workshop once a month. It's, it's psychic work. It'll incorporate some tarot, some astrology, but it's mostly psychic energy work and tools that you can use to protect yourself from psychic attacks. It's interesting that I wrote that. Okay, um, so so there's that, and oh, tech and animals. That's funny. So with this full moon in Libra energy, you could be experienced. Some of you, some of you, will be. Ex let's see. That would be well. Anyway, some of you, you'll know if this is you or not. I I have this note about um, experiencing technical glitches. You could be. I know some psychics that really set off technology and electronics and stuff like that. I have been so blessed where I have not had that issue. I Maybe it's my Aquarian energies. Maybe that makes it easier. I don't know for certain. I just know. Well, for me, it's different. For me, it's lights and animals. So the light hasn't happened. That stuff hasn't happened in years and quite a while where I would like... Uh, I would, I would really like walk by a light and it would go out <laughs> or like a street lamp and it goes out and you keep you run ahead to the to where the next spotlight is and then that one goes out I'm that hasn't had it hasn't happened in a long time so things like little things like that and that will manifest differently for different individuals because all of your psychic abilities are unique and different and you you brought this from, a, likely you brought this from a past life and it's, we're just all so unique and individual and so I don't want you to only look for those couple of things because it'll become, supernatural events and occurrences will be coming up, that's all I want to say. For me it's animals, it's interesting in March, mid-March-ish, I'm so under a rock for everything else, I'm in my, I really am, anyway, so the animals here I, I i have a thing with animals but that's what it is for me um for you guys it'll be that or other stuff so protect your sorry but protect your your technology if you're one of the types that can get glitchy around technology because full moon energy is just going to be okay okay into the astrology report my loves the sun is in 20 degrees aries the moon is in 11 degrees Scorpio. This is all according to 8 a.m. Um, PST, Los Angeles. Yeah, Los Angeles time. Mercury is in 27 degrees Pisces. There could even be between now and Friday night, Saturday, a little gift that that planet gives you 
in resolving some communication or it might be right after when Mercury's in the early of Aries or you know so there could be some breakthrough in communication for for some of you especially depending on how Mercury is aspecting in your own chart Piscean everything Venus is in five degrees Gemini oh that's right so Friday will be interesting because that is when Venus enters her shadow where she will retrograde for four months until April until August 7th Mars is in six degrees Aquarius separating an aspect from that conjunction in Saturn in one degree Aquarius Jupiter is still with Pluto in 25 degrees Capricorn Pluto is in 24 degrees that's going to be all year they're going to be exact a couple of times but it's the feel you're going to feel all that all year okay where was I Uranus is in five degrees Taurus and Neptune is in 19 degrees Pisces so what I want to focus on astrologically is the moon being in Scorpio and I'm doing this as I've been doing these astrology reports every single day like most of these planets are not moving like super big giant leaps forward you know oh oh sorry sorry guys I know that's gross so I do kind of want to get a little bit more into the moon because the moon moves every two and a half days moon goes void of course right now as you guys are watching if you're watching this in the morning the moon being in Scorpio it's that suspicion and the paranoia that I talked about in the full moon in Libra video that I did and I just want I just want you to be cognizant of it in yourself if you're feeling feelings of mistrust or accusatory or any if you're focusing any suspicions on anyone else to really check yourself and to really put the focus back on yourself not even looking at like you being dishonest or anything like that it's just just to catch yourself just to check yourself you can start that you can you know especially getting these vibes you and I doing this energy energy work now it could it could come up it could come up for you like oh that's right wait a minute you know okay it also will sextile Jupiter conjunct Pluto in Capricorn so today in, in individuals in groups of people globally I just feel like that's a real opportunity for paranoia and suspicion and that is the lower evolution of Scorpio that's not all Scorpios it's not a given it doesn't have to be that way uh, okay so but I'm just warning you I just want I just want to lay it out there um, and that is one thing I want to mention about astrology as a hard fast Artigan rule is that we don't make judgments on these things number one because it's an unhealthy perspective to immediately judge something good or bad there's more of that in the Artigan and training program but the second reason why we don't make those judgments very quickly is because every single individual is an individual everyone's unique everyone has different energy signatures so I don't want to say oh Mars and Uranus are square so don't do this don't do that when someone watching me has Mars trine Uranus so for that one person they should do it they should go out they should you know because this square happening in the sky is gonna operate in this one person's life as a trine it's just it's just a responsible thing and if you are an astrologer if you talk about astrology you are more than welcome to take that I don't want to put this like clamp on information that is really helpful to the collective so please feel free to to mention that if you talk to people in your life about astrology or if you do astrology videos or if you want to start doing astrology videos that's a wonderful thing to start with anyone learning about astrology okay it's a great way to start it's a good perspective to you know okay moving into the psychic report this is interesting because I got your download earlier today is performance anxiety I don't think anyone's performing anything much right now maybe that still resonates and applies for you but it feels like like butterflies like performance anxiety so I don't know what that is but we're gonna get into it right oh, I have to right now we're gonna get into this, this performance anxiety stuff what does this have to do with I'm putting the hat on because there's nowhere else to put it because <laughs> now I just have to put it back okay put this over here <sighs> whoa 
Oh, 10 minutes, you guys. We got through agenda items one, two, three, four, and five in 10 minutes. We're doing awesome. I mean, I'm doing awesome, I guess, if I'm getting through it more. Okay. Okay. Mm, you're watching and waiting. You are someone you're connecting to. It's almost like you're not even letting yourself get the performance anxiety yet. It's like around the corner though. You can see it. You can look down the path ahead and you see the bend in the corner and you can see that performance anxiety, but you're you're like, "Well, we're not there yet." Is what it what I'm seeing. Oh, coffee break. I'm sorry, I was so thirsty. Okay. We are ready. First layer, my love. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't do pop. Have I been doing? I don't think I've been doing poppers for the dailies. <sighs> interesting. And I love poppers. They're fun. It's fun to watch them pop out. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Whew. Okay. So, whoo. The sun at the bottom of the deck and the seven of cups and the queen of swords and the star under that. Interesting. The four of pentacles under the star. I feel like that's kind of for you, but we'll, we'll get our second layer. You are cutting. That's interesting. She's showing me these seven cups as floating illusions, like really actually right in front of you, like bubbles. And with that sword, you're like walking through it and you're going like you're popping the bubbles with the sword is what, you know, that's, that might read, that might be a special meaning for you. That might be, a, that's the, okay. So that is someone's confirmation. She's confirming that for me. That's what this is. But you have like the light, you have the awareness, you know who you are, what you want, where you're going. And it's really about paring it down paring the details down but the overall i feel like you know queen of swords does not mess around okay she does not so you're just paring down Whoa. details the excess and that's when you are looking down the road and you see the the performance anxiety Which is interesting. I wouldn't think Queen of Swords has perform as any anxiety, to be honest. The, the, when you're really strong in the Queen of Swords energy, there's like, you even have King of Swords down here. You have true counterparts. Okay, we are ready for layer number two. And here we go. Ooh, ooh. Two King of Swords. Wow. Whoa. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Staves, the Queen of Cups, and the Four of Cups, and the Chariot under that. Hmm. This could have been in the past. It could be coming up though. This uh, rejection. It's a pass. I don't want to say rejection. It's a pass. I'm getting, it's a pass. I'm passing. I pass. And it's not what you want or what someone you're connecting to, what they want. This is either two indi two different individuals or this is warring perspectives inside of one person, you or someone else. Because emotionally, there's a, there's a heavy toll. There's a heavy burden here. And it has to do with a pass, with someone passing on something. And mentally, it's a, there's clarity. You're just paring it down. You're just, like I said, getting very, you're just getting much more specific. 
Oh, let's take a look. In the far past, the root of the situation, how I will read this moving forward. We have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Staves. Kind of defensive. I say defensive because the Three of Cups, there's like no harm there. There really, it's like, there's some lighthearted, friendly vibes. And then there's this, you know, like the recent past, we have that King of Swords and we have the Devil. Devil energy. Let's clarify that. I really want to clarify that because, yeah, the Emperor. Ace of, okay, there's a power struggle over who gets to lead. <sighs> it's a shame. There's, yeah, that's, that's what it is. It's a power struggle over who wants to take the lead here. Okay, the meat of the issue here. We've got the Two of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. There is some sort of stalemate about the future. And it's probably about... Um, and I don't feel like it's necessarily the direction, to be honest. This might be a work situation because I feel like someone just doesn't want to participate. And... And there's conflict about who, yeah, who takes the lead. And that is plugging up. It's, it's like constipating the future. I know that's a weird thing to say, but that's what I'm getting. That energy is crossed by the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. So it's through opening the heart. Well, this person, whether it's business or personal, they're... A soulmate. I mean, there's two soulmate cards like right together. Very close. They're either someone from your past. You grew up with them. They're part of your family, a childhood friend, a karmic connection. So if this is someone new, this is someone that you feel connected to. Doesn't mean that it's a positive connection. This could be a connection that triggers you constantly. So you guys are probably here to work this out, this little power struggle. Someone I feel I can't let go of too, it's someone's a little bit too dispassionate and the other one wants too much power and control. So it's not even like, it's, it's, just, it's a very slight disagreement. The emperor wants the control. They want to control and they want all the power. I feel like King of Swords is just very detached. And that's their sort of downfall with that devil energy. I feel like the King of Swords is more take it or leave it. And I feel like it's an out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's an out that this person takes. So it's like, okay, fine. If you want to be a bossy boss, I'm out. Bye. You know, it's a little bit, you're not here to just walk away <laughs> from each other. You're literally here to work this out. So you guys are coming at it from like slightly, like little bit different problem areas. Okay, the next energy you move. Now, I feel like this would probably overpower this but let's let me just get through this so the next energy that you move into in this is the page of staves with the ten of swords here look at that so let me see what i want to clarify first um i want to start with the two of swords and the ten of pentacles knight of cups page of swords hmm Well, there is either a communication, an approach. I feel like there is something here. It's the King of Swords that's a problem. 
I feel like this, I feel like the emperor is probably um, trying to lead the way, right? Trying to lead the way. And with this two of swords and the ten of pentacles, the future hangs on how this goes. The test of integrity with a sincere extension of feeling. And I feel like it's the king of swords who's sort of being a little too dispassionate. And the two of swords energy about the constipation of the future. <laughs> However, I like that it's clarified with this because I feel like that it's interesting. This is a really nice blend. The emperor could either be taking on this sort of energy and humbling themselves when they when they go to the king of swords. Because it's a really good balance between sincerity and speaking the truth. Because the Page of Swords is what the King of Swords is going to really listen to and listen for what they want to hear, listen for what they don't want to hear, the red flags, the good, the bad, the this, the that, whatever, whatever. Like they're just constantly judging. They're sort of constantly assessing. And... Uh, I'm just afraid that that might be too harsh or it might be too, you know what I'm saying? But I like that it's with the Knight of Cups because <sighs> something over here, actually. Hmm. Either way, either way, the karma comes through. And it will heal this. It totally, once it starts going, once it starts going, once this happens, the Page of Swords is my test of intent. That's like if your company asks you to do something that benefits the company and exploits or harms the consumer. It's like, what do you do? Oh my God. Test of integrity. It's the truth being tested in you. He's standing and, well, you normally see that he's, there's wind against him. Like he's sort of, you know, it's that gust of wind blowing against you that you've got to determine your metal, determine what you're made of, determine, you know, who are you? Are you a stand-up guy? Are you a stand-up woman? Are you about this? What are you really about? What's your, you know, it's that test. So if this, if one of these two can overcome that, whoever it resonates with, if they can overcome that, this is who I am. Extend the cut. You know, if that happens, the first one does it, the second one will follow suit. So if you're the emperor, the way you want to take the lead is through truth, integrity, and love. Artigan values, our Artigan art of living. Okay? And then the, and then the king of swords will respond. Will like really, really, really respond. And then vice versa, if this is King of Swords, you can use your words, you can, you know, step out of your comfort zone a little bit, out of that devil energy, and make that approach to the Emperor and say, here, this is my truth, this is who I am. If you take my cup or not, I know who I am, I put it down and I leave it with you. But I clean my side of the street. You know, not like that, don't say that, but... That's, exact, that's essentially what you're doing. And then the emperor is the one who will respond in kind. And be like, okay, cool. You know. Okay, now we can clarify the page of staves. This is the news cycle. I wonder how long this is going to show. Probably the rest of the year, to be honest. Page of staves of the Ten of Swords, please. The empress and the page of cups. Ooh. 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 Interesting.
I feel like the news cycle is killing someone. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like someone's had enough of, of, I feel like they're emotionally drained. I feel like they are, no, sorry. Um, I feel like one, thank you. That's what it is. Okay. So one of these individuals actually, I can't tell which one it was because they're both so strong, the King of Swords and the Emperor. I feel like someone has totally either cut off from the news or like mental overstimulation, like they're just um, overstimulated where it doesn't affect them anymore. I'm getting that kind of effect with this though, that like this little page doesn't do anything anymore. Like it's over. And this page is the one that gets stuff done. The Page of Cups going with your heart, leading with your heart, being sincere. And why do I feel like there's another page of cups on the table? There's not, okay. But it feels like there is, but there's not, okay. This is the birth of a new relationship a new, this could be like a fresh start. I really feel business. I, if th this could be love. We're going to pull love Oracle, but I really feel like, because they're like, everyone's coming across so strong, but there's a lot of love here. So, you know, it could be both even, but I feel like there's definitely like a little bit of a rebirth here. A fresh start is what she said. A fresh start. That's what the, thank you. That's what the 10 of swords is. She's saying it's competition. She's saying that it's an end of um, some sort of competition. Oh, the, okay. The struggle for to who takes the lead. I'm like looking at it right there. <laughs> it's like, that's what's ending. Okay. So as you move into this energy, there's still the domineering, there's still the devil, there's still this, uh, you know, but when you guys start to really come together to work together, when someone has, someone has something to cough up, this is more than six of pentacles with the, the generous nobleman that dispenses pentacle. It's more than that. There's something to cough up here. There's a test of integrity. Someone has to cough it up. Someone has to tell some sort of truth that with the sincerity of emotion blooms and blossoms and it's like it <sighs> weird there's sh... <sighs> there's <sighs> hold on there should be an actual Actually, I don't know if you're going to see this. I'm going to skip it. That's a weird, like, psychic energy thing. Um, you can tell me about it if you see anything. So that's another thing. So well, that maybe that's what I meant by in the president's report. If you guys see anything weird happening, like, behind me, if you see orbs, weird stuff floating around, I don't know. If you see anything weird, I can just let it go. Um... If you see anything freaking levitating or anything, just that's just my life. So um, don't be alarmed. So that's what's ending between these two. But I don't think that it was a big issue, to be honest. I feel like you two are very strong-willed, strong-minded. However, the the discord or the competition or whatever that is, I don't, it wasn't, it's not big. It's not a big it's not ruining anyone's life. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's just a nip in the bud is what I'm getting. And rebirth right here. Abundance. This is more fun. This emotional page of cups. It's more fun. Like I'm getting jokes and laughter and like inside jokes and Jokes that only emperors and kings could share. <laughs> kind of stuff. Okay. Okay, let's move forward. So where you are now, the role you're currently playing, you are 
changing your perspective. You're evolving. You or this person you're connecting to, or both of you, very likely, changing perspective on the situation and totally... That's another rebirth energy with the judgment. Broadening the horizons. You're also changing your voice or how... Oh, that's right. I was supposed to do that. You're also changing your voice. Because remember that sound changes the level of vibration. It changes your spirit. You're having a perspective shift. And for some of you, for some of you where it resonates, you're changing your voice. The emperor is changing their voice so that they don't sound like an emperor. So that they maybe they... <gasps> emperor and empress. I don't know why I just saw that right now. Oh, man. Yeah, emperor and empress. Mm. I just didn't know if there was like lipstick on my face. You know, the emperor is only the emperor because they've loved, because they have allowed themselves to form really deep emotional attachments to their empress. In the masculine hand, they hold the feminine icon. In their feminine hand, they hold the masculine icon. It's the supreme balance. It's a supreme balance. So every emperor, every... Ideally, everyone in a position of power should have such a balance between masculine and feminine energies within themselves. So this is a rebirth, but in the connection. The change is happening right now. On this full moon energy. It's changing this already. I can feel it. It's already changing. It's, um, it's changing this stagnated future. <laughs> How the other person sees you is ace of cups and ten of cups. Like the holy grail of love, human happiness, fulfillment in the heart, fulfillment in emotional... Oh, this is overwhelming. This is really overwhelming for both individuals. Both individuals, it's a lot. It feels like neither of you knew how to meet the energy head on in the very beginning. If there was a misstep, and I'm getting misstep with this Four of Cups, if there was a misstep, it's it's um it's weighing, it's weighing, it's getting heavy, you know. The more you the more you cross out the nose, and the more clearly you see this as as a yes, the heavier emotionally this is for you. But you're doing the mental work where you're able to recognize that. You're able to you have great clarity right now. Wonderful clarity. And just be careful of being too dispassionate with that devil card. Because the king of swords can say, oh, I don't care, whatever. I'm not an emotional, I don't need emotional fulfillment anyway. You know, the, the emperor can say, well, I can go start this with somebody else. I can go do this on my own. I can go do this unaffiliated. You know, we, we, don't, we don't want that. I mean, you guys don't want that because your souls are trying to work this out. Not even really work this out, just trying to move forward, to be honest. Let's move, let's move forward. Your hope, oh, there he is. Your hope, fear, or opportunity. We have the Six of Pentacles with the King of Swords. Interesting. Yeah, someone's afraid that King of Swords is going to be too dispassionate and just say no. Don't do that. King of, if you're King of Swords, don't do that. Listen. Like, really listen. Really listen to someone without prejudging, without waiting for your turn to speak, without interrupting them. Really listen. Please. 
that's your challenge king of swords okay the end result we're going to clarify it just so you know we're going to clarify it but the end result is the eight of swords with the tower so i feel like that's this inhibition Ooh, interesting that's the king of swords that's the king of swords that dispassion that i don't i, I don't really need this in my life i don't really you know that's true you don't need any of this in your life that's totally true but it could also be something you're sort of telling yourself. All right, let's clarify. The Eight of Swords and the Tower. Two of Pentacles and the Four of Staves. Whoa. Well, the Two of Pentacles wants to juggle and the Tower wants all the attention. So, coffee break. Mm, sorry. Um, oh, no, no, my face is going to get all twitchy from the caffeine. <sighs> you could be, I feel landlord with the four of staves feel landlord I feel home I actually feel now definitely it's the stability between you two absolutely the foundation that you two are building you're working it you're working it wow through your tower moment it's like all happening at the same time I mean time spirals it's not linear so that doesn't surprise me but I feel like there is a lot going on There's a lot going on. I mm. This, with, with this ending, I feel like this is showing you that there's somewhere to go. And the, you can go to the Empress. There's somewhere to go with this. You, it's like you can go to, to Empress. And it doesn't have to be a person that's a lifestyle as well. It's it's a frequency. Like all of this is, is a frequency. And that's your home. That's your home. It could also represent both of your lives at the same time. That one of you is working on some home situation and the other one is uh, psychologically liberating themselves who was it yeah whoever is in this this making that final judgment this is blasting away any of that residue something about this two of pentacles I'm not picking up one or this is it would be sort of strange because you're both showing up so strong but one or both of you can be working multiple jobs or juggling multiple projects in order to maintain or expand your home like your physical home, your living situation. You know, sort of trying to make ends meet. However, overall, she's saying that it is the, for both of you, the tower moment for both of you psychologically, and that both of you are reorganizing and reprioritizing to prioritize the foundation of this connection. Wow. That's a big shift. I mean, it's, it's really great. This is like a power couple. Whatever this is. This is business, friendship, lovers. Power couple. 
it leads to the future environment which is the four of cups that pass energy and the fool it alleviates this burden and the stress and the emotional sort of of that of that past energy and it's like that person if that person was holding on to a rejection to a pass they're letting it go they're letting it i know you think they let it go totally when you guys talk about it and then you put into the connection and you discover it and you enjoy it and then the competition ends and all this stuff but there's something else that is going to like really let's clarify the four of cups and the full four it's like exactly the same cards and You're not even going to talk about it right away. You're going to pick up, move forward with the thing, with whatever the Ace of Staves is. You're going to move forward, extend. The other person's going to be gracious. You're going to keep going. You're going to invest in the partnership. The competition ends. You move toward the beautiful option, the love, the light, the integrity. You put into building the work, all of that, and then you talk about it. <laughs> and then you talk about the past. And then you, I meant to say pass, but it came out past, which both apply here. It's generous. It's, I feel like that's the best for both of you though, because you're both really powerful and powerful people have ego issues. Like, and that's just, oh, I, oh, I don't want to put that in this video. Mm, okay. It was a cool little thing, but mm. okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's not, I, I, I mean really what this is about is the long-term future that's what's constipated right now and that's what needs to move forward so it really isn't about the past it's not about the past you know it's about the future so i feel like even if you didn't talk about it even if you didn't never addressed it you guys would still be moving forward you would still be healthily moving forward because of an end to this little little competition little it's tiny you can channel it in games sports the big studio heads um in the i mean probably even recently but for what i know for certain that i can comment on Back in the 50s and 60s, 40s, 50s, 60s, um, you know, the head of Warner Brothers, the head of Universal, they would all play tennis together in healthy competition and they would jest each other saying, well, it looks like my movie took the box office this weekend. And then, you know, the other one go, oh, well, you know, well, I got such and such coming out and my star just had a baby with so-and-so and, you know, that kind of thing that's what you want to look at you want to look at i mean i'm a film person so that's how i'm the context is you want to look at yourself as the head of a studio and you want to look at the other person as the head of a studio okay and you're both here to make a movie you're both here to make um hell's angels you're both here to make some epic Howard Hughes movie or the Godfather you know you're, you're both here to put your resources someone's got the cameras someone's got the actors signed to the studio you know and so you've got a that's what's at stake so yeah so when they come in it's like hey yeah let's talk let's, let's build a rapport first 
joie de vivre, the joy, the pleasure of doing business. Business really should be that. It should be enjoyable and pleasurable. It shouldn't be hard and cutthroat and blah, 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 you know, it's not, mm -mm. no, you want, you want high class. You, and high class is manners. It's not having anything to do with money. It's manners. It's politeness. It's a soft voice. It's kindness and sincerity and generosity. That ends any negative competition between you two. You guys, let's win together energy. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting that it's that the tower moment is there though still like psychologically I think that's the performance anxiety thank you she just gave it to me she showed me the the look the queen of swords looking down and seeing the bend that's why because this goes forward but you know there's that turn and that's the performance anxiety of when you're eventually going to speak your heart like really speak your heart and talk about whatever you know Ugh, I feel better now that's what the two of pentacles is it's it's putting into the stability and sort of feeling because it's an up and down energy it's sort of cyclical too Negatively, you could be running, you could be spinning your wheels. Um, but this, it's like the, f the foundation is up and down because you haven't had that conversation yet. Because you're the perf that's the performance anxiety. That's what I wasn't getting. Thank you. That's what this two of pentacles is for you. It's the performance anxiety about this foundation, which you're building, but you just haven't yet really addressed the thing. The thing. But over time, the more you put, the more you do build up the foundation. Over time, it really does tower moment that that thought that I can't really talk to them about this. I don't really want to talk about it. That'll that'll be in one fell swoop. Actually, probably dramatically end. Interesting. And that's part of what Queen of Swords is like poking in the bubbles. That's what she figures out by the end is like, yeah, I can, I can, I can. Because emotionally it's going to take a toll. Advice, please, for whoever this is resonating for. Ooh, oh my gosh. Don't let your past hold you back for emphasis, for flair and drama. <laughs> Not drama, you know what I mean. Don't let your past hold you back. A, pa a history of power struggles, a history of maybe even bad business deals, you know, maybe a history of things just not working out, trying to collaborate or difference of um, opinions, difference of more than that. It's more like leadership, you know, more of I want to do this, I do or you agree on the what, but not the how. You know, you could have a married couple who they both agree, yes, we want the same thing, but they have two totally different, um, I think of my mom, actually, it's really funny because I have my Mars in Aries. She has her Mars in Libra. So Mars is how you go after what you want. It's your assertive energy. Mars in Aries is natural, okay? It's just like a given. It's easily expressed. Her Mars in Libra manifests so very differently, you would not believe. <laughs> so for her and I, it's like we can agree on the what, but the how. Even, you know, when I'm talking to her about anything, I love getting her perspective because it's so opposite of mine that it's like, I would have never thought of that, mom. You know, but for her, it's like, well, yeah, no, you, Natalie, you don't want to do it like that, you know. So it's just... I'm direct, I'm blunt, I'm str I'm, I shoot real straight, straight shooter, but that's not always appropriate in every instance. So it's good to have someone with their Mars and Libra, like my mother, to help 
balance, which is what the opposition is supposed to do, is to meet in the middle. So what I always try to do is listen to what she has to say. I know what I want already. And then I try to really be honest with myself and find the middle. Find the middle of a little bit of what she's telling me and a little bit of what I want and, you know, what's the middle there. And that's, that's usually pretty good. Unless I just tell her after the fact and then she's like... What's your other card? Adjustments are required. That's totally true. There's there's just, just you guys need adjustments here in how you guys are relating to each other for sure. Nothing is yet set in stone. That's another thing about all of my timeless tarot readings is that these are the dominant energies as they are playing out right now. And usually by the time we finish our energy work in this video, things are already shifting. If you like the way the energies are playing out, the story of energies, then you know how to follow along and manifest accordingly. If you don't like all or any part of these tarot readings, you always have the free will choice to change the way you're manifesting these energies and make your free will decisions to say, I don't want that experience. So if this is an experience you want, you know how to make it happen. If any of this is an experience you don't want to have, you know how to avoid it. That's why I do this. Okay. So good prompt. Nothing is yet set in stone. It does not have to be this way. You could save both of yourselves a whole, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just, it's a free will choice. It's a free will choice. And honestly, this doesn't even look that bad. But playing out as it is human stuff except for someone having some sort of psychological tower moment about the performance anxiety thing that's that's that i would augment that that adjustment is that's i would make that adjustment i would you know there's little things but oh and then show the world the real you this feels where is it this feels like the page of swords the test of integrity like are you a stand-up guy are you a stand-up girl but not only with the truth, because it's with the Knight of Cups. So it's like, can you speak the truth of how you feel? Who are you really? Like what I said before, you know, you clean your side of the street. That's all you have to worry about. Once you give it to someone else, it's theirs. And if someone treats you wrongly, that's them showing you who they are. You don't have to respond in kind. Because that's showing who you are. I would pull my energy back, but that's like a whole other thing. That's, that's not what this is. This is having the courage and bravery and, you know, coughing it up, whatever it is, and just looking at that, not having anything to do with the other person. So if there's an apology or anything like that, it's not even about the other person. It's really not. They're going to be affected, obviously, and it's going to do great things for their relationship, whatever. But I want you to look at it as doing it for yourself. Because it's who you are. You're someone who tells the truth. You're someone who tells someone how they feel. You're someone who sticks to their own agenda. You're someone who has an internal philosophy. You're someone that is an individual that has created their own philosophy, their own sense of right and wrong, their own morality, their own ethics, so on and so on and so on. That's what I want you to take away from that. Show the world the real you, the full moon in Aquarius energy. Okay, let's get love oracle. If this is a love situation, which if it is, this is like two very powerful people. I'm the total power couple here. What do we have for our loves? Ooh, oh, oh my gosh. Why are the oracle cards all like right now? My goodness gracious. Okay, we have separation right in front of me. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you guys need time with this. And it came right on top of the hanged man. So this judgment, they'll reach the judgment after a long period of needing time to think about it. This will take time. This is also procrastination. So someone could be procrastinating. Um, but that will explain the separation. So if you're wondering, that's what it is. 
Let your friends help you is on the bottom of the deck. Ask for and accept help, sorry, support from others. And then there's three cards over here. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So you're definitely affecting each other energetically, whether you're separated or not. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. That's what this, per that's what one of you was rejecting. And being real defensive about is what I feel like. Someone trying to be, you know, palling around or something. And you took it as a boundary pusher. You took it, at, or someone took it as my boundary. And the other person was just light, very, very lighthearted. Extending their lighthearted energy. So if you're wondering, if you're wondering, oh my God, they were an emperor trying to like take over my land or oh my God, they were a king of swords trying to take over my land. No, no, they weren't. They were just very, very lighthearted. And then the last card, uh -huh. right on time, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So just let it go. It was a misstep. If this happened in February or March, totally forgive and let go because that was mercury retrograding being in shadow being in pisces i mean either way it's always good to forgive and let go i'm just adding that little whipped cream on top for you. okay forgiving and learning though and also forgiving yourself you know like you totally react to like like it was a an assault or something, you know. Like it's an it was an extreme reaction. So forgive yourself for that. Forgive yourself for that. And you know, it's, I'm not getting anything that cannot be worked here. Oh, at the bottom of the oracle of this oracle deck, staring straight at me. Don't let pride get in your way. That came up in the daily recently. Don't let pride get in your way. Mm. Egos. Not a good look for any of us. All right, my loves. That concludes the tarot report officially. Our Tegan report. Please focus on truth, love, and integrity. And when you struggle, use the tools that we learned. Use them. Use them. Use them. Use the tools. Okay. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But you, it's in the trying. Okay? It's in the trying. Correspondence still backlogged. I'm sorry. Um, old biz, no old business, no new business. Um, if anyone is interested in the weekly readings, the weekly readings for all 12 signs are live streamed every day on Patreon. So check it out. It's in the first tier. So just the first lowest tier gets you access to the weekly by all signs and that they're live stream. I mean, you can go back and play them, but it's, it's, um, it's really, really cool. I'm, I'm really happy about it. Patreon's really awesome. It's so organized. There's different tiers. And the way I structured them is um, from the beginning of esoteric learning to like the max esoteric learning. So you can just check it out, you know. Um, but if you, if you like the weekly readings for all 12 signs, that first tier is your bag, baby. I love you guys forever and ever and always. And um, I hereby officially adjourn the meeting. Take care, my loves, and many, many blessings on your heads. Bye.